you know, half a million dollars spent, millions of dollars spent, took me 12 to 18 months. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to risk my reputation. A lot of the leaders talked about, there's a risk to my job and my reputation. Oh, um, absolutely. This is why, right? you know, so yeah, I've put some stats out about this recently, but, you know, most B2B deals end in no decision, like over 60%. And of those 40% that actually buy something, most of the time it's what they shortlist from a, a category leader at the beginning. But consistently the feedback is, I don't want to take the risk because if this goes wrong, it's me on the line. If it goes <laughs> well, the company benefits and like I might get a pat on the back. So the, the personal risk is huge. Absolutely. And, and I think, um, you know, the, that was the real aha moment for us around why that the, the composability thing in our DXP is the biggest thing, which is just think about it like Lego blocks, right? Like you can use whatever you like within our platform that you need. You can add in, they're, they're built like modular Lego blocks and we work with other third party tools that also operate like Lego blocks that work on our platform, right? So you can chop and change because the real key thing here is that if the rate of change is only going to increase, and I think Accenture's pulse index showed it increased 183% in the last four years, and it's going to get faster in this AI environment, yeah. right? This year, like if change is continuous and accelerating, why do we still treat digital experience management like a project? Right, just doesn't make any sense. Um, and it's these kind of three key things that we talked about that you need to design for that adaptability and flexibility. You need to not fear change, but you need to be able to embrace it. And you need to be able to make small incremental moves, not big behemoth all in one rip and replaces that kind of scare people from doing anything, right? So it's too hard, right? Like the, as we were saying, not just the the people risk of like, hey, if this goes wrong, it, it's it's my neck. But yeah. there's so many people, right, that, that you need to touch. And as you mentioned, like so many integration points, like it's it's too hard. And I don't know, I've worked for a lot of enterprises. I've worked for a number of startups. And it's it's not just an internal thing about being nimble, nimble and agile. Enterprises want that too. Like this is the whole thing between agile and DevOps versus waterfall, right? That yeah. we talk about that for product development, but not third-party integration and sorry, implementation. Yes. 